Happy New Year. It feels so good to be alive and well in year 2021. I'm still your host, Melinda Akinlami. Glad to have you join us on the program, the first one for the new year. And let's start off with a performance by Thespians. <laughs> To a celebration of a female multi-talented artist by the CIG group, then this solo exhibition of paintings by contemporary artist Ayola Mudashiru. We have that and more in a moment, so stay with us. But as usual, let's hear from our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is Undubisi Josiah. It's titled, Life is a Miracle. Don't fail to take its advantages. It's a banquet. Grab it while you breathe. Put it to use because it's short. Life is a rare miracle. It dries up like morning dew. You live but once. Why be in a hurry? Your exit ticket is engraved in your blood. It takes but a second. The greatest miracle you got is today. Don't let it slip away, vainly. Put it to the best use. Even if she throws thorns to you, turn them into steam that will propel you into prominence. Nothing good comes easy. The choice stares at you, beckoning your attention. Take that eagle leap and kiss the sky. Music, poetry and dance is part of what performers are offering the audience at the Alliance Francais in Lagos. <laughs> The special edition of Astel featured all sorts of performances at the Alliance Francais in Lagos. Music, Have, uh, males doing all of those kind of things, playing big drums, you know, things. but you know, females can do that too. <laughs> so it's trying to say, okay, females can also show their talent. Females can also be someone in society. Females can also lead. 
females can also have a say. They can also take the positions of responsibility and leadership. Of course, they do that in the home. It's just that the man is the front head man. When you come, the head of household is the man. But really, when you check the activities of the home, it is the lady who is determining what is happening in the home. Drama and more. came up with Astella and Lauti is because um, back then we we read everything. I like to make research. I like to always find out new things and new possible ways to do things. So because we read a lot, we have a lot of works. We have lots of works and we we didn't have platform to showcase those works. And then we thought within ourselves that what if we create the platform for ourselves and for other young artists? Because Astel is, is, is not only dance that we do there, it's, it's dance, it's music, it's um, poetry, it's name it, it's art generally. So we, we created this platform as Astel to be able to, to have a platform where we can showcase our works because we have lots of them and as well invite young artists who does not have a platform to showcase their works. of an open eye is an exhibition of paintings by contemporary artist Ayola Mudashiru. Let's see what he had to show. It's a handful of works of art displayed here using the abstract and semi-abstract motifs technique by contemporary artist Ayola Mudashiru supported by Wangboje Art Gallery in Lagos. The exhibition is titled Echoes of an Open Eye. It's a play of words, actually, that centers around being focused. Because, you know, in the, uh, expressing yourself continually, continually, you know, from time to time, it sounds, it looks like an echo. Because when something echoes, it keeps reverberating. So, in the echoes of an open eye, is saying that be focused. Let your eye continue to vibrate on a particular subject matter, on a particular style that you are, that especially if it is now what you can call your baby or your project, you continue to do it 
especially when it comes with different forms of creativity, you continue to express it. So in that form, you are echoing a focused eye. I do what I call Ula Motifs. Ula Motifs is a, what? is a reinvention of the honor movement. It's, uh, in the honor movement, they use a lot of motifs, especially the Yoruba motifs. But if, even though I am in love with the motifs they use, the spirit of being different, the spirit of being you know, unique brought me into Ula motifs in which I use Aousa cap designs to express myself in various forms. The honor concept is what this artist has embraced in all his paintings, but there's a message embedded in all those Yoruba forms, symbols, signs and motifs. The one thing I do in my painting is that I don't ever use a color directly from the tube. I don't use what people can call raw colors. I try to change it and make it come alive before I use it. So that's why if you see a lot of my works, they are very colorful, but you will see that the colors are not that, uh, they are not very bright, but they are very strong. They are not very bright, but they are very strong. So then I also do what we call, I use the stylized edge, you know, to say one or two things in the social, in like one of the works that says in the land of the blind, you know, because, you know, it's not always, uh, something doesn't always look right when a lot of people are saying something, but only one person believes he or she is right. So when uh, a people are being led by somebody that, I mean, a, somebody that is not well informed, you know, it's like, you know, the proverb that the, the white man would say, say in the land of the blind, you know, a, a one-eyed man is the king. From my own point of view, is a happy work, like, is a happy setting. It never depicts something that is sad. His colors are very vibrant that even if he's talking about something ill in the society, you still feel happy looking at the work. It doesn't bring any sad motion to anybody, right? His, um, his use of colors are very, are very loud and, and is in your face. It's, it's there and is a good thing. Mr. Yola is a great artist that the world needs to see. Seriously, seriously. I feel like he's been hiding and I feel like someone needs to put him in the, in the open, let the world see him, let the world see his work. I mean, he has done so much. I mean, using acrylic to create this must have cost him so much. What really attracts me about his work is the fact that each work, each painting has different interpretation. It's not, it's not, it's not um, targeted to just one point. You see a painting and you have various imaginations. It's not just there, it's not plastic. It's more natural and his own um, signature is unique in the sense that you have to be a good art lover to understand it. The graduate of the Abafemi Awolowo University Ilefe Oshun State likens his paintings to jazz music, which he believes is food for the soul. more things that make me happy than those that put me off. A 
public presentation of a book which captures the zero to hero story of the multi talented artist, Mrs. Nika Davis Okudae, is what has attracted lovers of art and culture to this space in Lagos. The 232-page biographical work written by Kufo Adeleke is called Batamia du Kokoka, which shows that hard work pays, celebrates her creativity, dynamic personality and impact of her artistic works in the society. Veteran artists, friends and captains of industry take turns to praise Mama Nike as she is fondly called. She's an international artist of many parts, an art collector, curator, vendor, who has one of the largest galleries in Africa. She's an informal art educator, a philanthropist and a Nigerian ambassador extraordinary. I know this because she took me to Belgium and I was able to see her performance as an ambassador to Nigeria. She's a lesson, she's a study. She should be taken to all the departments of sociology and just placed down there. And the students will just look at her and learn all about Nigerian sociology. It's also fun as the author and the character in focus engages the audience through a book review and reading session. The highly specialized methods and techniques of adire making had been kept hidden. Being perceptive and anxious to save a dying art, Nikke felt that it was time for the trade secrets of those skills to be revealed before they were totally lost. She went from village to village seeking out the elderly women who were skilled in dying but had given up the work for many years before. She brought them out of retirement to teach a younger generation of students who could carry on the traditions. Despite the gaining popularity of imported synthetic dyes, Nikke continued to use indigo. For many, it's a good read as guests get an autographed copy. The message in the book is that when you are trying to lift yourself up, there's nothing that will take it away from you, that when you are lifting people up, you lift others with you. That is the beauty of her life. But it could not have emerged without help from CIG Group. Since I come to Nigeria, I try to find the most beautiful place, the most beautiful people and the most beautiful scenes in Nigeria. So the people talk about Nikki Gannery and, I like, and I'm so lucky that I met mommy there. Many believe that Nika Davies Okudaye's compelling story has a wide-ranging appeal that will not only enhance interest in African art, but inspire future creatives. <laughs>something light to get us into the new year, but let's look at what the works of art other creatives are showing us on our various social media platforms. Artists are sharing their various inspirations for the new year. Let's begin with Orange, an acrylic on canvas work by Innocent Chikeze. Then Kenneth Dalkas is asking everyone to smile. Never make life difficult for yourself because everyone has a problem, but we need to find a reason to smile this 2021. It's done with charcoal on cardboard paper.
Then this comes with all these festivities. According to George Bolaji, we see the Owambe ladies clad with their very colorful headgears with this charcoal newsprint and fabric on paper work. To this other work, which talks about partying this time of the year, even though we encourage you to stay safe while you do so, is called Aria. It's a mixed media work done by Awoshika. Then an oil painting on canvas work, which OKK Maxwell has, is called Precious. He says the eyes are a window to the soul, so you really have to be careful and watchful as we step into the new year. Then Elizabeth Oluwatui has this mixed media work of a lady also smiling. She calls it Portitude. Then, Looking Good is a painting by Onuha Columbus. He said, especially the ladies, everyone wants to look good this time of the year. Then, Emmanuel Ebuka has this pen drawing on paper, which he says, Happy 2021. Then Toby has this pen on paper work, which he calls Christmas Saga. You see Father Christmas winking at his audience. <laughs> then Uzo Asegu has this metal work. He calls it Backup Singer. Another sculptural piece is done by Uko Basi. He calls this Adiaha. So these are the works you sent in that has been your inspiration and things you've been working on as we step into 2021. For what to look forward to next time, take a look. Next week on Art House. Historical Fictions, an exhibition by contemporary artists David Olatoye and Victor Uba at Open Door Gallery in Lagos. Till the special edition of Culturati, which unleashes Africa's potential in arts and culture. That and more coming up on Art House when you tune in next time. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. As we draw the curtain on the show, let's know the new things you want to see in year 2021 talk to us on any of our social media platforms as usual you can see this and any other episode of the program on our youtube page or website channelstv.com thank you so much for watching i'm melinda kinlami wishing you a happy new year <laughs>